If you need a lead generation strategy to bring in web design and SEO leads into your business, today I'm gonna share with you four different ways to find leads using just one simple tool, how to find the contact information for those companies, what specifically to actually even offer these leads based on what their own needs are, and I'm even gonna share a few hacks to help you identify which are most likely going to be the higher paying leads. So today we're gonna be using a tool that I love and I have talked about several times here on the channel called My Web Audit. So if that sounds good, let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you exactly how to find a nice long list of leads. When we first log into My Web Audit, we will be brought to this screen. As you can see, there's a few different things that we can do, and this is all how we find our leads, this is how we offer value to them to close them, and then we see what we need to do to actually add value to their projects. Today though, of course, we are focusing on actually finding the leads to outreach to. So we are going to do that using better leads. Here on our leads dashboard, there is nothing here yet because we have not actually gone out and found leads. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So over here where there's this button, find leads, you can see that it gives us four different options for finding leads. The first is that it will help us find local leads. We can find leads running ads. And I love these types of businesses because these businesses are already spending money on advertising. They already see the value of spending money in order to make more money back in their business. There is also find leads by technology. And this is a really nice one if you really want to, and I've talked about this here on the channel before as well, but if you really wanna get really good at one particular platform, some people are very general like WordPress, but you can do e-commerce, you can do WooCommerce, or particular type of technology, and you only wanna find businesses who are already using that technology, so you can go in and offer to further support them on that particular technology, this is going to allow you to do that. And then lastly, you have import leads by CSV file. And this is really helpful if you're going out and actually doing Google searches, which I'm gonna touch on a little bit later as we look at how to actually use that and find the right kind of leads. And this pulls all of them together in one single dashboard. And it tells you a lot about each of these leads so you know who to contact and what to offer them. So let's run through each of these. We're gonna start off with finding local leads. And as you can see here, this gives us a few things that we need to type in. So the first is the keyword here. So this is where I'm going to insert the particular industry. So let's say that we want to target pool builders. So I'm gonna put in pool builders and let's say I wanna find pool builders in Scottsdale, Arizona. So I'm gonna click on Scottsdale, Arizona, and then we can select a list. So right now we don't have any list, but what this will allow us to do is as we go through the different options for how to find leads, we can sort them by individual list, or we can also add them to the same list. So I'm gonna create a new list here just called pool builders, and we will go ahead and create that. We can see it's been successfully created, and we will click find leads. So as you can see now the tool is running and it is working on finding us some different leads here and it looks like they've already found possibly 74 here. They're going to go ahead and start processing those leads. So while the tool is running, while it is finalizing everything with those leads, we can go in and take a look. Let's go ahead and find some more. So we'll go up here to generate leads. This is going to give us those same four options and this time we are going to select find leads running ads. So the same thing here, we are going to put in a keyword, a location, and select our list. So this time we are looking for the companies who are running ads. And just like with our local leads, we need to put in a keyword, the location, and select a list. So if you are exclusively serving pool builders, let's say, then you're gonna put in the same keyword, the same industry across all of these. So it's gonna pull all the same types of leads for you. I'm just gonna show you some different industries here just in case you are doing something different or just to give you some different examples. So let's say we wanna look for pest control companies and we're gonna look for them in Phoenix, Arizona. And we don't wanna add those to the pool builders list because, well, they're different. So we're going to put 
pest control and create a new list there. And we'll go ahead and click find leads. So as you can see now, they are starting to go out and search for those pest control companies and pull in the leads for us. So again, while that report is running, we're gonna come back up to generate leads. And this time we are going to find leads by technology. So now let's say that we want to continue with our pool builders. We're going to put in pool builders and let's say we only want to deal with pool builders who are using WordPress and we want to add those to our pool builders list. And we will also add these in Scottsdale and let's go ahead and find these leads. And here again, it is searching for those pool builders in Scottsdale using only WordPress. So that's how you can get really, really specific here. So while that's running, let's jump on over here to our dashboard. And now you can see here on our dashboard, we have the list that we created as we started to search for particular leads. And we can see that they are starting to pull some leads in here. But once they go from business listing and we wanna move them over to leads, these numbers will start to change. And we can also get rid of any that we don't want to target. So here now we can see all of the business listings. It looks like they have found 73 so far although that other report should still be running for us here anytime we can go in and view the full list of the businesses we can edit the name if we wanted to change that or we can go ahead and export that list so if you wanted to be able to see this in a different format or off of the my web audit platform you can do that as well so let's go ahead and view the list so now here we have the list specifically for our pool builders and you can see there are a number of columns we see one column is still in the works it's still processing the information for that, but that's okay. We can go ahead and start taking a look. So for each of them, we will have the name of the business. We are going to have their website address here, the date that we have actually run this and found this lead. And then we have a, a big handful of columns here. So the first one here is if they are actually running ads, it will show us here their AdWords budget. So on average, their estimates, not that this is gonna be an absolute exact number here, but this will give us an estimate of just how much are they spending. So some of these leads we just looked for, they're not necessarily paying for ads, but then we were running the report to see, are there any actually paying for ads? So we can come and actually target those if we want to either help them with ads or just know that they see already the value in spending money to make money they're really investing in their business. Now this next column here is if they are using an SSL certificate. So we see a lot of them here have that check mark. Looks like most of them here are all set up there as far as an SSL certificate goes. So there's not much we can do. Next one is Google page speed. So it's gonna let us know if any of them have a low page speed. We have using OG tags, using schema tags, Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel. So you can see just running through here, which ones are good. Like you see here, this ASP, all of them, they got all green check marks while we're still waiting for that one. This one here has all green and you can see a little bit of red, but then you'll start to notice the ones that this one, for instance, there's a bunch of things that they're missing. There's a bunch that they're not doing. So their, their competition out there is doing all of those things right now, but they're not. And so that's definitely something that they should pay attention to. So I would start out contacting the businesses that have the most. So we have four here, we have three here, three red X's here, but we will finish letting this run here. What we will do is also now go back to generate leads because don't forget we have this fourth way of finding leads. So what we will do is go to import leads list. What this is actually going to let us do is pull in a CSV file. So if we have a file that lists out all of these businesses, that lists out their URL, we are going to be able to pull that into here and then it will go ahead and run the audit just like we just saw on the last screen where it's going to look for those different things, the Google Analytics installation, Facebook installation, schema markup install, all of those types of things so we can see where these businesses are at. Highly recommend that if you go that route, you already have a list, you just wanna see how they're performing, that you download this sample CSV file, just makes it easy to plug in your info, know the file format is right, and you can upload that here. How you're more likely to use this though, is if we head over to Google, and let's say here that we want to look for the pest control companies in 
Scottsdale. I think we looked in Phoenix before, but let's just go with this. So now what we're gonna see is we have some of the paid local ads here. We got some sponsored ads, the local pack right here. And then of course we'll have some rankings down here, some local businesses here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the My Web Audit Chrome extension. And when we do, we're gonna get this pop-up, which is going to give us a few different options here. So we are going to click on Find and Extract Leads. So now what we can do is select the list that we want all of the leads to go to that the tool goes and finds in this Google search that we have pulled up. If we don't have the list, of course, on the right here, we can simply ask it to create a new list for us just by popping in the name and hitting create. Since we already have pest control, I'm simply going to select pest control list there and import sites to lead list. So it has now gone ahead and it has saved those leads to the list and we can go ahead and click here to go back over to our dashboard and see the leads. And now it has grabbed those leads from that Google search. And as you can see, we have 21 leads just coming in from this Google search. So it is gonna go out and find all of this information about them and we'll just wait for it to run here. In the meantime, let's go back over to our dashboard. Let's check our pool builders list. So it looks like our list is just about done here. We ended up with 73 different leads. And let's say what we want to do is find the leads that are having the most issues right now. And let's go ahead and start doing some outreach. So what we'll do is let's say we want to outreach to this particular business and let's say I uh, will pick these two just for the sake of example here. What we'll do is we'll come back up to the top and we can mark these as a lead. So those have now been moved to our lead list. You can see now we have 70 business listings and three of those have now been marked as a lead. So if we click into our leads here, what we can do is we will highlight all of these and what do we need when we're gonna outreach them? We need their contact info. So we will click on this find contact info button and it will tell us the credits that we will need to do that and we can confirm. And now it will begin to go out and it is gonna pull in the actual contact information for us so we know exactly who to reach out to and what their contact info is. So now we have our 70 business listings and we now have our three leads that have been separated. So now let's say we actually want to reach out to them and it's helpful to not only have their contact information, but of course to have a little bit more detail about them. So what we can do is we can come in here to view enrich data or preview the site. It's gonna take us to the same set of tabs here. And you can see we are on the company information tab here. So this is gonna give us the main contact that they found. We're probably not gonna reach out to cancellation, but it does give us some additional contacts. So we can try to find the right person. So a lot of times what I'll do is if I can't find a specific person on, let's say their website or LinkedIn, then what I will do is use one of the general ones like info or hello. Um, doesn't look like this one's verified, so I would go with info. But first what I would do is I would pop over to their website and I would see if they have a list of their staff members. Typically when they do, they're gonna list out what their titles are so I can find the person that is in charge of their marketing and see if their email address is in here so I can email them directly. Another way to do this is also trying to pull them up on LinkedIn and seeing if you can find out more information about what their actual role is in the company. But over here on the right, you will see some of the softwares that they actually are using, what their tech stack is, so you have an idea uh, of what they are or are not using, and maybe they could and some general information here, like daily organic traffic, they have 201 visitors, gives us some more info. And we can also pop over to their website right here so we can take a look at that, see what we think of it, uh, see if we have any general ideas of maybe how we can help this business do a little bit better. Uh, and then again, we have all of the icons here at the top, but this time highlighted in red, what is not working for them. Uh, so they don't have any schema tags and it tells us what their page speed is. So many people on mobile these days and they only have a 41 out of 100. That's a big opportunity to uh, improve that page speed so they can hopefully get some more mobile traffic and that can help get them a little bit of a boost there. So as you can see here, just in a couple of minutes, 
we have pulled in over 90 leads. So as you start to do this and pull in your own leads here, just in a matter of minutes, you are able to outreach to them. You can always pull in audit using my web audit. I'm not going to go into that here today. I've covered that here before, uh, but that is a great way to be able to outreach to them, have a visual that actually shows them what's working and what's not working for their business. Now, at the beginning of this, I did say that I was going to mention some ways that you can identify who's most likely to be the most high paying leads for you. So there's a few things that you can do. The first is heading over to Google and you can do a Google search for the fastest growing companies in and then put in your industry. So this could be the fastest growing pool builders in and you could even give a state, you could give a country, and you can see what kind of lists are pulling up from them. And that could be a list of the businesses that now you can import, you can add those to a CSV file and import those. You can go ahead and just use the Chrome extension to pull in lists like that. And that can be a great way of finding companies who are already growing. They already have this good momentum going and you want to get in and help enhance that to push them even further forward. But typically those faster growing companies are the ones that have money and they are spending it. So sometimes you'll find that those companies are spending a lot of money on ads, but they're not spending money on SEO or having a conversion focused website and so forth. So there still can be a lot of value that you can get in and add. Now, I also did mention finding the companies who are actually running ads and using them as leads because they already are demonstrating that they have that money to spend. But there's two other ways that you can do this. But as you can recall, when we went to generate leads and find local leads, we had the search bar for the keyword and the location. So there's two things that you can do here. One is location. Look for the higher earning areas because typically those are going to be the areas that people have more money to spend. So the businesses are likely charging more in according to the value of the area that they are in. So just simply going from maybe one county, one city, one region, to another can shift just how much is being paid out to these companies. So they're gonna have more money to spend on you. So a good Google search would be the wealthiest cities in and then give a state or a region depending on where you are um, and looking for different types of searches like that. So you can get a good idea of the cities and locations that are gonna have the most money and then coming back and looking for the, the industries that you want to work with inside of those particular locations. Now, now, the other one would be, and this can even be a combination, of course, with the location and the keyword, but looking for the industries that are known to charge higher amounts, that their customer value is worth more than others. So for instance, if you are going to have a pool builder or a kitchen remodeler, they are going to make more money per customer than let's say a barber, right? So that's something to think about as well. Now I did just recently do a video about profitable industries that you can consider uh, and we went into the value of some of those different industries as well. So I will link to that here below as well, because that's definitely something that you may want to consider. And when you combine those profitable industries with some of the more wealthier areas, those are going to be some really good businesses for you to be able to target. So I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials and I will catch you on the next one.